not 100 percent well, now we can't say anything. I can't say anything I was going to say. Jeez. Now you, oh, do you want me to pause it <laughs> so care. you can finish no. your thought? No, no more thinking. Done. Thought is done. You had a kind of a tough thinking day today. Oh, my God. This, you know what? I was just thinking today. It's only, um, like, it's finally, I shouldn't say only, it's like finally Friday tomorrow. I feel like this week has been this week a month been long. Very long. Very, okay, very I thought it was just me. Like I just seem to it just has not ended. Yeah, it's it's been very, very long. Yeah. Yeah. And it needs to end. Yeah. 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 You know, and now we're on crack of dawn tomorrow again. So anyway. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? Yeah. I don't know. Oh well, my, my day's ending. My day will be fun tomorrow. I'm going to the cannabis show. That'll be pretty cool. That'll be that'll be fun. Have you looked into it? Like what it's uh what's uh, the pooper scooper on yeah, it? What are they so doing? It's an industry show. Um so it's uh I actually forgot we were doing this thing, so I, I shut everything down. So I had all the tabs open. <laughs> so so our guest wasn't the only one to forget. <laughs> That's okay. But um I am going to what's it called like in one like two i'm just the worst with names right like it's like there and then it's not oh i'm going to lift and co why do i lift so and, what is lift, lift and co, co expo and okay so, that's yeah 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 okay yeah, lift and co expo and it's uh yeah it's kind of cool like it's it's um it's it's like an industry it's it's gonna it's an industry event that turns into a consumer event so like yesterday and today is all industry and then tomorrow uh, today and tomorrow sorry industry events and then the following day will be um will be consumer oh mm -hmm. that's okay that sounds like it'd be kind of fun yeah so it's kind of neat like i'm what are you I'm going, going for again well i'm going because um the startup i work with works with um some folks in this space so they help they've got a, a couple of um cannabis retailers that they are helping to kind of like solve their retail issues and all that kind of stuff but i realized that like i don't really understand the i don't understand the industry like i don't right. understand the space and i don't understand how they talk to each other like you and i when we talk, um, people who are in CPG, they know, they don't know where we come from, but they know we come from, you know what I mean? Like, CPG, well, you know, you're from, you're, 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 yeah, you're from the game, right? I mean, yeah, we all talk the same, but yeah, yeah. the cannabis guys don't talk the same at all. Like, it's not just vocabulary, it's everything. So, uh, you know, so, so I'm, I'm going, cause I, I got to figure out what it is that I'm missing because my marketing stuff is okay, but it's not, there are parts that you realize nobody's, I'm not saying it the right way. So they're not listening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're it's, not, it's, really it's just, it's because it just becomes is. sort of like a lack of comprehension. You're just thinking, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, it is, it's the, remember, what was it like on the penis? Wah, 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 wah. Mm. Yeah, that's all they hear, right? They're thinking, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. these guys what? don't get us. Like yeah. that's you know, that's yeah. the number one thing that they don't get us. Yeah. Like he's kind of just talking about stuff. Stuff, you know, like stuff. Really, like, not really important not stuff, people, right? So, yeah. so somehow I've got to learn to be their people. So, uh, I'm. That's really why I'm going. And then I'm. I'm curious as to. There's some economic analysis on where Canada's going, what's happening. So I'm curious about that as well. Not in terms of the industry overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. And then, and then there, you know, I'm I'm going to meet some of their existing customers, try and get a case study out of it, um, you know, something like that that we can use as well. So, yeah. Hmm. yeah, that's okay. That sounds like it could be interesting. Yeah, right? it'll be fun. Something it'll different. be, uh, you know, it's a change of pace. It's not an industry that I've spent um, a ton of time in. So, um, you know, so we'll see. We'll see, right? So, so I, know, I love it. Like kind of like new industries and new businesses. New people, I, you new know. things. You hear some different yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. talk. Are, and speaker list you said was decent or no? Uh, no, I didn't really pay attention to the speaker list. Like I just I there take a look at that too. There might be something interesting in that. Yeah, yeah. There are a handful of things like so. 
I only got the regular pass. So like there's, there's a psychedelic business summit, which were, I'm not going to, cause I, I don't have that part of the pass, but the, um, yeah, there's some interesting stuff here. There's like next gen entrepreneurs, uh, bigger results, bigger takeaways. Uh, that might be kind of fun too. Like the next gen shit, right? Product innovation is interesting. Yeah, cannabis but until Health Cornucopia Canada gets their shit together. Cannabis products, devices, right. and accessories. Um, what else is there? Some of this gets so locked up into Health Canada's world, though. They got to get their shit together. There's, there's an interesting right. one called reputation management and advocacy. Um, because what a lot of cannabis guys are finding is that people are um, deciding not to work with them because they're cannabis. So oh, people are still doing that, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's kind of this, like, yeah, there's kind of this, you know, yeah. Huh. Um, so, so yeah. So there's some of this stuff as well. We actually did get that when when we announced that we were partnering with some. We we got that comment. Hey, you know, this is really great because there are industry folks who are not. There's a lot that still don't, which I still don't understand per se, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. now that it's illegal um yeah like what substance know. like I mean, who gives a shit like i mean well, they'd all they'd all run up to be with seagrams or labats yeah. i mean what's the big deal yeah yeah really yeah and now you're you're taking it on your own hands almost right like you know what i mean like if you choose not to work with these guys now you're taking it you're taking business into your own hands like there's there's like a personal ethics versus company ethics right right so, right you know eh. I don't know. It sounds kind of interest, interesting to me as well. But, it, you uh, know what? It'd be cool. I, I'm excited to go. It's uh, honestly, it'll be my first time out, you know, um, at a trade show, you know, like at a, at a trade show, really. So it, I'm, I'm curious as to what it's going to be, what it's going to look like. Uh, well, the last one you went to was, was the one we went to like in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was a yeah. uh, pet yeah long time ago hmm. interesting yeah i haven't right? been to one yeah I, I yeah i don't know yeah I'm just texting roll here see if he's uh let us know yeah yeah i mean if he if he wants to come on i'll throw the link right into whatsapp just th- and, do it now uh, yeah okay. yeah just in case yeah, sorry you guys you're hearing us prattle on but we're here to think because we, uh um, have a guess we that have uh a- kind of a, a pretty cool guest so yeah, if he would come on it'd be um, pretty cool but was, yeah. we don't want to say anything so we look, we look like yeah. losers yeah yeah we don't want to look like losers <laughs> we've had a loser week i don't want to be a loser the rest of the week 21 day left oh uh, yeah it's funny i was just sitting on the couch thinking oh my god if it wasn't if it was anybody else right now i think i'd just go back just go to yeah, sleep yeah i was thinking that too i was you like know? oh holy yeah. shit man i'm just exhausted so yeah i know. just exhausted you know yeah, it's been a, it's, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know what, like this week, I think, me for, I think it's because it's been mentally taxing. I it's mean, mentally. for you, me for you guys, all week. For, yeah, yeah, but for you guys, like you've had a rough week. Yeah, but not, um, not, not us specifically. I mean, thank God, you know, the, the storms that went through, I mean, they're devastating financially for yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank God there's not, a, there wasn't, um, a lot of loss of life unfortunately they think three for i mean it's really sad right i mean yeah. it's it's really bad yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just and the city's a mess in the sense yeah. not the city itself but you can't get into vancouver you know all four major routes are shut down um in the industries we're in both of us i mean it, it pick either company that i deal with we have stuff coming from the east we have stuff that's supposed to go to the east and nothing's going anywhere like there's just there's there's nothing happening you know, train uh, tr- tracks are down. All four highways are down. Yeah. And unless we reroute through the states, uh, you know, which isn't as easy. To, you know, sounds easy, but it's just really complicated. And then now everybody's on a hoarding mode. That's the worst part right now. Like grocery stores are empty on the island. Thank you for island. I don't know why, but they're 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 out of gas. People lining up, just going crazy. Why? I don't know. I, I don't. I think people are freaked out that we're not going to have gas or thing. food or something. Yeah, it's another thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just think people got to just kind of, you know, yeah, I mean, I, it's okay. I mean, I even told my mom and dad, I said, listen, just go out. Don't go stupid. But you know what? It may be a week 
10 days of some interruption. So if you want to yeah. get, you know, bananas for dad or, you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever you got to buy, you might want to go just grab some stuff yeah. because if people get silly. Um, but people are going silly anyway. Oh my God. You should see on TV that the, 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 there's produce is gone. That meat, like everything, toilet paper again. Like it's been gone back to pandemic and you think, I, and I get it. Like I get people get scared. I mean, because it's a big deal, right? I mean, honestly, it was, it's, it's a disaster it, it, once you get out of the city. It's like a real yeah. mess. Well, like a real mess. State of emergency and the whole bit, right? So, oh my God, it was nuts. Yeah. Right? Crazy. But like for me personally, I, I, there's nothing for me personally outside yeah. of the business side where yeah. you start to think logistically, like how do you start moving things? How do we get things? Right? I mean, I'm not in a position yeah. where, you know, you watch people in the news. I mean, farms are wiped out. Houses wiped out. Yeah, lives I, I saw, uh, like, like you know my god the bridges that get washed out right oh, they, they look they look like things out of the amazon right like you, you i know actually, i you, know you know i know it's like your mountain like roads in the middle yeah, of a yeah, tibet yeah. Or, in, or in brazil somewhere like olivia it's for, ridiculous yeah, it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous but anyway wow. that's the way it is but this week for me it's just been spreadsheets you know what it's been too is with one a very light discussion on skew rat with the other, a very going to be an intense discussion on on skew rat and and skew focus, like just back to sort of basics, like just looking at shit, mm-hmm. thinking, you know, we've got some skews that one customer is on the skew one, so either get more or get the hell or out. Don't. Yeah, like yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're bringing shit to satisfy what, and you know what the person orders just that. I mean, you got 700, 800 SKUs to choose from. You buy one. It's, it's one that's thing it. to be customer centric, right? But then it's that's another, not customer. That's silly. Like that's, that's taken that's it silly. too far, right? Yeah, that, that's a silly to me. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Like, I don't mind, you know, and, and the argument will be, well, you know, it's like it's a pre book and I don't, I don't care. Someone had to take the time to stop looking at all the other stuff that we really need to have for, you know, 100 customers mm-hmm. to take care of, of a one, one, customer one skew once every six eight weeks order like whatever uh, you know me i'm like you I, I, i'm totally yes all customer service focus but you know we're not a it's we're not oh, a department there's store. A limitation yeah there's what a the limitation hell? to that yeah. like, make it make it work yeah, yeah, yeah. how does that even make business sense yeah. it it doesn't it doesn't you know then i looked at it and then we got competing things like yeah. four of the same thing and i'm thinking Three are selling, sort of. One really sells well. I'm thinking, well, why don't you stay with the one? Yeah. Like, if you want an option, that makes it maybe an alternative. is nice. Go with one, but yeah. you don't need three. Yeah. I don't know. It's, that's my week. It's tired. Yeah, it's been... Uh, just tired. Just yeah, tired. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. For anyway. Them. Oh, my goodness. Did so you all weekend at the show? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just going tomorrow. You're just, you're just, yeah, just walking just, and kind of just tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, touring a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was so supposed it, to go to... It'll be fun. I, I think it'll be fun to do. And then, um, I think it'll be a blast. Yeah. yeah no, I really do. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. God, I'd like to go to a show. There's a card show this so weekend here's the on the thing valley. Is, so I think I want to go to a show. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you on the next show, right? Because I don't know, you'll know before that, but, but I'll tell the listeners too. I think I want to go because I think there is kind of this draw to meeting new people, seeing new products, doing new things. Yeah, totally. Um, but I don't know. But you couldn't, I, I don't think, I, I think I can already say that if you wanted me to be there for more than a day, or if you wanted me to work a booth, I'd tell you to jump off a bridge. No, I'm totally with I you. I totally, you to and I totally off understand one of the that. washed off. Washed, yeah, washed yeah, off. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not. No. Yeah, you know, no. like I, I, so I, I don't know what that says for trade shows, right? Because I, I think that means I'd rather just get together and socialize as opposed to actually look at anything. I think that's what that means, but I'm not really sure. So I'm not sure if that's what that means. Tomorrow. Yeah. Like as a buyer, I loved it. Like I loved trade shows. I would love working them. I like sitting on the floor going through stuff. Like I just loved them. I, I loved every minute of them. Right. Yeah. When I oh, left buying, yeah. I just want to walk them. I don't want to do any shit. I, I don't want to, I don't, you know, I like looking at stuff. I get excited because I say, enjoy it. I, I like that kind of thing. Yeah. But I don't, don't want to do any yeah. work. 
Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Tomorrow, just I don't know. Meet, just meet people. See what's going on. Get some cool ideas. Hey, you never yeah. know. Make it a cool couple cool podcast people. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think there's a. Uh, I think there's some really cool. Um, I think there's some really cool brands there that I'll, I'll engage with. That um, hopefully, actually, I wonder if our friends are going to be there. Who's the Which guy ones? that we had on the show? Is the YouTube channel? You're asking me. Do cannabis? Uh... Fuck, buddy. I have, I have no clue. That's that's bad. Eh? It's not like we've done 18 trillion. It's actually shows. really awful. But I mean, we have done 210 episodes. Okay, now we sound like we're fishing for an uh, excuse because that's pretty sad. I, am, I, I remember. I <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of I am building an excuse. Um, oh, yeah, good luck on that one. But you keep looking. I was supposed to go to a show this. I, I, I wanted to go to the show just to walk. There's a huge card show out in Langley, right? Mm-hmm. And then they reached out today. Oh, you know, do you want a table? Two came up. Green Obviously, Planet I'm, Wholesale. Oh, with Mark. And Mark, I actually think. Well, Mark's, I guess he's in the cannabis space. I kind of. Oh, Mark will be there. I'll bet you, or someone from his company probably would. I think he's sponsoring this thing. Oh, I bet you any money they're involved. Um, Let's just see. If, don't they have a list of who goes? Smith and Co. Smith and Co. I thought I saw a sponsored by, and then the sponsored by, and then the logo looked super familiar, and I just couldn't place it. Do you know what I mean? And I bet you it's because them i have no idea i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they if they went right that would make total uh, sense i'll ping him just in case you know absolutely Uh, maybe i can say hi maybe i'll film a little small segment while we're there that'd be kind of cool he's a good shit mark's a nice guy mark's a nice guy yeah you'll like you'll like when you meet him in person like he's just a good uh so I'm talking about episode, this is way back, I guess, yeah, I mean, October 29th, 2020, uh, and we, we talked to Mark Wallman, the COO of Green Planet Wholesale. Uh, um, I remember talking to Mark after, we used to cannabis space, I'm thinking, we didn't have yeah. anybody from the cannabis space on. Yeah, but we did, we did, we did. Yeah, Mark. Um, you know, so it's funny, because I'm scrolling through the stuff, I'm sorry, because I think you started something. But I was scrolling through, um, scrolling back up now. Yeah. And Shelby Taylor, the CEO of Chickpea. Yeah. I just read, um, cause she. She was on Mike Fatta's show, uh, on the podcast yeah. or something, I think the, the other day. And then she on also, I think she was talking about finding more balance. Really? Yeah. I mean, you know, when she was on the show, like so many of our guests, right? We, we kind of make fun of them a little bit because they seem to be doing like 10,000 things. Well, they're full tilt. Um, but she built a business while she was pregnant. Um, yeah, CEO of Chickpea. And let me just see, because I, I could have sworn that she put together a post that she said, listen, I had to kind of do things different because... Um, well she's was getting super busy i mean her there's listings of her stuff everywhere yeah 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 right i actually really like her stuff i um i liked uh i like it like it i i can tell it's chickpea now now that i um have the taste down I, right but I, I do still like it though yeah i've never had it. i never tried it. it's hard for me not to do a pasta pasta so yeah so she put up a post a couple of weeks ago she was talking about she was actually talking about two years ago how she when she closed around she she pretty much burnt out um putting together around which is really fair uh again like rock stars being hard on themselves right like yeah well that's just it right <laughs> um but anyway i i thought that was interesting too she has she has a great post i'll, I'll kind of link it um, I'll link it in the the episode notes, but um, interesting. Yeah, she talked about um, 
she talked about closing around um and then she says um she says uh, you know the round closed um i should have felt so much joy pride and relief the two things i most have been stressed about were done but she remembers feeling like a zombie on the way home and then she said i knew that nothing was worth feeling the way i felt that day um so i made big changes started therapy set more boundaries to say no more often i delegate and lean on my team more i lean on my board make better use of their expertise um prior that's sort control. of the trick though right yeah yeah i mean otherwise you do you just burn it at both ends and, and yeah. i don't know what you get out of that well apparently yeah. you get one very stressed out probably you know wound pretty tight individual yeah, yeah. you know yeah. and what's the benefit of that like I don't, what's what's the win yeah but it actually, and it explains a lot of things because we talked to her January of this year. And so it makes sense, right? Like there's actually some context there of, because when she was on the show, um, she was just so, again, like a lot of our guests, right? Just so well-rounded. So, you know, like so driven and yet so balanced. And we kind of wondered how she did all that. Um, it just shows you uh, most yeah. don't probably do it well i mean yeah. she did it and that's all that's all good yeah but she's basically telling you that she was she could have yeah, done I mean, it differently she, she could have done it better obviously really right? do it the way yeah 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 that's too bad well i mean so as long as she's better and she's gotten the help she needs and can figure it out because that's yeah. not a fun place to be yeah at all yeah yeah. Right? Anyway, I sorry. Mean, I know you started talking about something else. No, I told you I was going to uh, supposed to go to a card show this weekend, but yeah, they offered me a table, but three days, like Friday night, all oh, day Saturday, you're Sunday. Going to run a booth? I don't mind doing a booth when it's my own booth. Yeah. I don't want to do someone else's booth. Yeah, yeah. I get so I'm that. trying to get into a card show on December 12th in Burnaby. Mm -hmm. It's a small okay. one, right? But yeah. I got lots of shit I can move out now. I got yeah, stuff yeah, I yeah. can do, so I wouldn't mind doing a show. But I don't mind doing a four or five hour show. But um, I, oh yeah, that's easy. Two days. Talking about other, ah, it's too much work. That's right. I mean, I can do certain categories. Like I'll, I'll do it with for Steve. She wants me to do Toy Fair with him in New York in February. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that one because it's different. Because toys are fun. Are you gonna go? I think so. I think so. I'll let you know because Amelia wants to come too. Oh. Right. So yeah. if we decide to go, if you and Kath are gonna be a, uh, um. Uh, out and about i mean actually you know you can come to the show period get you in we'll tell steve to get you new make york. you an employee new york could be cool i'm gonna do the show and I'm, toy fair is awesome come on seriously how, like, there's not much uh, you know you that's a pretty cool show toys. like what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that right? one. are you kidding me yeah like yeah, there's yeah. stellar and then there's that like i mean toys yeah. come on yeah oh yeah. my god like i'm, I'm awesome. just stoked yeah it's pretty awesome and we've already been looking up to see who's in town. I thought, okay, you know, maybe go see Billy Joel again at, at MSG because I've seen him twice there. It's mm. amazing. Oh my God, he's so good. It's ridiculously okay. good. Okay. But I think he's there the week prior or something. Yeah. What if I think we'll catch a couple plays or something? I mean, it's not the best time of year necessarily to be in New York. I mean, yeah. the weather can go anywhere, right? It could be relatively nice to like not pleasantly warm. Like if you cold as cold. I don't know if we're going to, I, I, I don't know. I, you know, like I've never, so I don't know, maybe New Yorkers will get mad or whatever, but I, I kind of like the only thing I dread actually is the flight home because it always gets delayed or something happens. Um, Cause LaGuardia and I, we just don't, we just don't. Well, I've, none of them are very, I've flown out of all of them, like all three of them. Cause I'll, I'll even go to Newark. Right. So Newark <clears throat> for me is the best one because Newark to Toronto is such a short haul right. that if you fly the right local flight, it stays underneath the, um, I don't even know if this is true, but but somebody, a, a pilot told me this, right? Is that because the local flights, if we used to fly Porter, and yeah. then if you fly Porter, it stays under the, because they're smaller jets, they stay under the commercial ceiling. Right. And so when all the weather warnings come, it gives them leeway to be able to fly because they don't fly. They, they don't fly, fly into under the, the commercial ceiling. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so, we used to like it because the flight was good. It was a direct flight from Vancouver to, to Newark. And yeah, Newark's yeah. really not that big a deal to get. It's, no. to be honest it's with you, ride, sometimes uh, we've all, we yeah, buy the cab to Uber or train, yeah. but it's even faster sometimes than going to JFK yeah, 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 or LaGuardia. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, you, you know, it's right over the bridge, right? Like, whereas the other two, you got to, 
you know, oh, you got a fiddle fart around and LaGuardia has got so much shit going on it's around it. Like a tunnel and a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. And crap and, it takes three hours just to get a cab to get yeah. to the, get to the gates, yeah. the, the, the entrance, right? No, if I can avoid LaGuardia. I avoid that one like the plague. Maybe now it's getting better because they're going to clean it up. They were working on it the last time I was there, but the, we went lad the last time I went to Amelia, nice. she hated it. It was it's, so it's cold. pretty nice. I was there. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been two years ago, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was there right around that time. And it was, yeah, it was quite nice. Oh, okay. Because two years ago when I was there, it was pretty, it was, there was construction everywhere. Took forever to get caps, took forever to get buses, took forever to just do everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Man. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, so interesting toy show. I guess, you know, if listeners um, are going to shows, I think I'd want to hear about it. Because I think that's... To, if anybody's going to shows, I'd like to see what's going on again. It's a, it's a serious conversation. I mean, we, we heard Liz M. Lanny say that like a month ago, right? She, she was, no more than that, um, in August, right? Because she was in the Chicago show. Right. And the, like... Half that was the right at the people, beginning of the opening up again. Yeah. So half the amount of people that, that really should have shown came um i've kind of heard that a bunch of places and then linkedin is the same thing as people are going i went to a show and they, it didn't seem like anybody was there so i i guess i'm curious too like how many people are going you know how many people are staying i gotta say though you know so even travel like so i've always sort of um wanted to do things environmentally better more better uh, flying it can be the way to do it um, flying isn't the way but now they put in the carbon um like on every flight they tell you what your carbon impact right is. so what are you trying to do offset it you know long's gonna take you to offset a plane ride i it just makes me feel like an awful person which i think is exactly what it's intended that's the whole intent of it it's not supposed to make you feel good it's supposed to say buddy you got to find a better way and then you're going to say what am i going to do well, I could be like our Vancouver. friend and drive it to Vancouver. Well, she's crazy. I ain't do that one. <laughs> that, that girl's nuts. Now, when she gets Remark, her truck, we love you, Amy. Remark. When she gets her truck, we're all over it. Um, like her, so, her, her, her pickup or whatever she's going to do, or uh, the van thing, we're going. So it's um, 454 kilograms of carbon of CO2 emissions. So relative, okay. So what what do I take just driving downtown? Um, because you got to put it in context. Because the problem is, honestly, you're gonna you're gonna kill yourself on that one. Like the footprint's just atrocious. Because um, I don't know what it. I don't know what. Like I don't know what a normal thing is. Equivalent. Carbon emission equivalent. Greenhouse gas equivalencies calculator. Good lord. Yeah, calculator's enough for that. Yeah, there is. Wait, I don't know if I'd want to know. How come I don't understand the? Oh, I have emissions data. Okay, so if I four kgs, four hundred kilograms. Do you really want to? You know. Do you really want to know? Like, really? Um, okay, let me see if I've read this right. So greenhouse gas emissions from passenger vehicles driven for one year. So what? What to say? Uh, the sum of greenhouse gas emissions you entered above is equivalent to 1,005 miles driven in an average passenger vehicle. Well, that's not that, that bad. Well, I mean, it's not good. I'm not saying it's not good, but how, how far is the flight? A couple hundred miles, 300 miles? I think it's more than that. I mean, Toronto to Vancouver is Toronto to Vancouver is it's got to be close to two thousand miles. 
yeah. yeah, maybe 1800, I don't know, something like that. So driving wouldn't be any better and take it 10 years. No, Avery Remark said it takes three days. I don't think that girl sleeps. I think she just drives the whole way. She's crazy. You know, that woman and her dog or whatever, she's like, she just goes and she doesn't stop. I don't think, I don't think she sleeps. Probably gets a dog to drive. Take turns. <laughs> you never know. So the distance between, wait, wait, I don't want this. Um, 4,337 kilometers. And the other thing was a thousand and five miles or a thousand and eight miles. Miles. So sixteen hundred clicks. Yeah, sixteen hundred clicks. Well, okay, so it'd be like driving back and forth. No, it's less because it's it's really like. Oh no! It's you'd better be to burning. You'd actually be burning. So you'd it's better be to burning, fly. Yeah. So you'd be burning. That yeah, doesn't I mean, sound right. Yeah, that, uh, that's weird. Maybe that's weird. I don't. I don't know if that's anyway. It takes you six and a half days, seven days to do the round trip. Yeah, like because if you drive, eight it's, it's not any better. It's actually worse, right? Because if I drive, I got to drive four thousand. What did I say? Four thousand kilometers. Yeah. Then you know you got to do three hundred uh, kilometers. So then I'm putting. 4,300 kilometers. Of you got to watch gases. Long Way Up and right. you got to see what do a Charlie Borman and uh, what's his name? So the Ewan only McGregor way to do did. that, get those Harley Davidson. Do it if you do it electric. Electric bikes. Then you can, you can cheap. negate the carbon costs. Absolutely. Problem is, you got to charge. What are you going to charge in the middle of a. But I guess, I guess the point is, is really it's not like it's, it's more like when you get home, you've now got to actively subtract 1600 kilometers from what you might do yeah because I you're guess trying to get back really to carbon like, neutral but that's uh... that's carbon neutral right so carbon neutral would be if costco is 10 kilometers away i literally could never drive to costco ever again right right in order to make it carbon neutral to fly once well that's not gonna happen interesting you got to find some other way. I to think if we it. have a guest who really understands how to be carbon neutral, we also want to talk to you. You know, who might know. Fardad might know. Fardad. Viren might know. He's pretty. He's pretty green. Fardad. Fardad. Fardad I, built a building yeah. one, like that way, right? He built. He tried to build it as clean as humanly possible. Fardad, Fardad probably. Knows. Fardad seems to know everything. Fardad knows everything. Yeah. So Fardad, when you listen to this, you call us. You call us and come hey, back on. You explain to us. We've got a guest on. Where? Here. Now. What's going on now? Who, Sterling? No. Mr. Marley. Oh, look at that. Where's the video? Hang on. Hang on. Hey, how are you? Your, your connection's crappy, but. Are you, Rohan, are you there? I think he's trying to be. We said it was trying, trying to connect to the audio. You know what? Right now, can you give me like seven minutes? Yeah, man. You come back. Yeah, do yeah, it. This we're, is the link. You we're just hanging out. The noise. All right, cool. We're yeah. just hanging out. Go whenever you're ready. Yeah, because that connection's got to get fixed. Yeah, I'll be right back. Sounds good. <laughs> Okay, because he's, he's probably at a nightclub. That's why I'm a loser. <laughs> That's so. That's hilarious. what happened. You know why I forgot? It's because at a nightclub. <laughs> oh my god! What a beauty. Oh, poor guy. He's a beauty. Well, don't poor guy. Well, poor guy. What? Okay, all right. Oh Great. my god. That's hilarious. That's. Well, that'll hilarious. be nice. That'd be nice to actually if we get a chance to talk to him. Hopefully, he's got some time to uh to chat. Yeah, I mean, look. If anybody figured out who that was. No, nobody's gonna be able oh, to you know what? That. That's a contest. If you figured out who was ping us, and uh, you know, there's no me? way that we could actually judge that you figured that out or whether you're just making it up. So yeah, how do you ping? I, I, I don't know. I was gonna offer a prize, but anyway. Yeah, you, I don't know how you talk. How do you ping that one? You're huge. 
Maybe so we could the, like so well, we could we could put it oh. out on social media early. We could we well, could well, put go ahead out then. we could put out the little clip of this. You know what? Do that. See if any, and see if anybody. Yes, who this who is. is? Okay, you know yeah. what? You do that. They put it out like on LinkedIn yeah. tomorrow. Like tomorrow. And, and they've got to know by what do you call it? They got to tell us by Sunday. Hey, did you put the the um the restaurant people? I didn't see it yeah. on LinkedIn. Blenson and Mimi. Yeah, they're out. Yeah. They're out there. Oh, I didn't see it on LinkedIn right though. Uh, I think they're out there. I don't think. I, no, I didn't. Because I just catch it. I usually so, catch so most. You of them. know what? So you know what's really funny is mm. the number of connections there. Um, is kind of crazy. So so Blenson and Mimi, I know. Um, through my wife, right? Like some friends right. of friends of my wife. But they met Bill Wong, right? Who is a is is Jeff Wong's dad. Jeff and I grew up together. But then Aaron Mann, who does our social media, is Jeff Wong's nephew. Are you Which sure? I, Did you know that? I knew that, but I didn't know that. Like, do you know what world. I mean? Like that connection. So he said to me the other day, he said, I was so surprised when I heard you mention Bill Wong, like, you know, cause he listens to it and then he puts out our socials. Right. And I, I, you know, cause I met Aaron through Jeff. So duh. Right. But I just, um, it was one of those things. Right. So I, I said to him, you know, like your grandfather was just, he was just a really phenomenal guy you know what, right? what he like, sound like to me he sounded almost like the godfather like so yeah, yeah. the godfather was... of the chinese restaurant tour in thing you know what i mean so they went out they took care of you know the people from the homeland because then the yeah. language wasn't an issue because yeah. they probably knew they didn't speak well yeah. then maybe understand the rules of the engagement in the yeah. country so those yeah. are the guys that went out you know made sure that everybody was okay yeah you know yeah. kind of that's take exactly care of what it. he did right like he did his best to make sure like he had skills that people didn't have, right? So well, exactly. he could speak English, he could do it fairly well. He had an accent, but fairly fluent. And then, you know, so so when people would come here and settle and want to do business, he didn't want them like, you know, like in all, a lot of ways, he didn't do things that, they, I mean, he did what we're trying to do now, right? Which is like people get into the industry and you try and make sure that they don't, you know, get jammed up, right? Like, you know, that they actually make good business, right? So well, they actually make some kind of proper cool. business decisions. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think when, when Mimi was saying, you yeah. know, oh, and he went through it, he was critical. I'm thinking you, you've got to be thankful for that in a lot of ways because the point, whether he knew your business or not, he knew the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And his whole intent was yeah. just, you know, okay, so he didn't like the fusion thing. He didn't understand it. Yeah, but he, he understood you know, food he costs hard, and he understood, he understood food retails. Food, yeah. And he understood, okay, the margins you need to survive and probably yeah. the hours you need to work or whatever it was, right? Yeah. And that's that's the stuff you want to glean from this. But yeah. you don't have to know your product. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, right? so so it was funny. That's funny. He said, Oh, I'm so surprised to hear about, you know, Bill Watt. And I funny. went, Of course. Like, you know, like I, I of course I know, I know. Jeff and I know Aaron, so of course, like anyway, that's funny though. That's uh, funny. that's interesting. Wow, yeah. that's actually hey, really Rohan. interesting. Yeah, how you doing, man? We hey, are buddy. all right. How are you? Good, good, good. Where's good that on. pretty face? Oh, a second, man. <laughs> I don't want to look at this still. Yeah, man. Oh, that's hey, a beautiful man. face. Are. See, look at that. Nice yeah, man. Good man. How are yeah. you, buddy? Good, good, good. What are y'all up to? Nothing. We're just hanging out. Yeah. Oh, I figured out. you forgot us again. So we just kind of just think, ah, we'll just shoot the shit with each other. And then you surprised us, which was really nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. How you keeping? Good. I'm just, I just having a dinner meeting with some guys about over by the dispensary here. Yeah. Tomorrow nice. I got to meet the governor. So are I'm you, are you still, governor. last time we talked to you, you're in uh, New York, right? Are you yeah, there? yeah, Are you I'm actually, somewhere else? Yeah, but I'm actually, I'm actually in New York now, but I'm living in uh, Miami. Right. Okay, got it. But, right. But I am in New York. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. That's so a nice balance. Like a you, uh, yeah. you get some city, and then you get to go home and uh, yeah, go home have a Saturday. little sun, a little little warmth. Facts. It's raining right now, too. Mm. Back home or there, or New York? In New York. Mm -hmm. 
He travels a lot anyway. Don't feel sorry for him, Phil. This guy's all over the place. He's, he's, he's okay. He's okay. He's probably tired, but he's okay. It's too cold, man. I guess too cold. You come from Miami. It's raining here. Oh, man. It's raining, New, York, cold. New York at the end of November, baby. Nice and yeah. cold. Nice. No, and but cold. I can't handle it. You know, you guys are Canadians. I can't <laughs> handle that type of weather. It's true. This is a guy who played in it's Ottawa, true. really? I know, for a little bit. I, I really... It's too much, man. The cold, I, I, it's, I can't breathe. Buddy, trust me, we get it. We live here, right? I mean, I don't know if you've been watching the news, but we've gotten so much rain. I was we were, Before we came on, so there's four, you know, Vancouver, right? You've been here enough times. Yeah. There's four ways to get in the city by car, four highways. That's it. Every one was closed. Every one. Wow. Wash really? out, bridges out, uh, roads flooded, like a lake. Because of the rain? Because of the rains. Wow. Yeah. So two well, of the highways may take two, three months to fix. Well, they, these they are main arteries. Got like the equivalent of a year's worth of rain. Wow. Right? That's, that's insanity. That's, 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 that's insanity. heavy duty. Yeah. Insanity. Yeah. Heavy duty. Absolute so, insanity. So we've got, yeah. so we're excited. We've got, we've got Rohan Marley on. Um, uh, Kenny, Kenny asked Rohan to come on and, and Rohan was able to come on. So yeah. Um, Famed you, linebacker. Have you. U of yeah. Miami, then on to the big Ottawa Rough Riders. Well, yeah, for a little bit, I did, I did that for a couple of seconds. A couple I, seconds all that up, man. You're a pro football player. That's oh, huge. I, mean, is, I know, uh, I know, I know. I, I always, I want to play in the NFL. The I can say for Rough Riders. Listen, listen. Was the NFL, was it the size, bro? Yeah. Sorry, Phil. Was it the size? No, no I was in Algebra, and I never, no, I wasn't really the size. I never had a chance to really play in the NFL because I was in Algebra for the draft. Oh, so I went okay. toward my brothers, and then the CFL decided to give me a chance. So right, I, right, I, right, right. I went, and, you know, I did that up. Awesome. That's kind of cool. What the hell? You still play pro football. I mean, I know it's CFL, not NFL, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, because the guys that were playing in the NFL, I was better than a lot of those guys that I played with. Yeah. Well, because you played yeah. with, uh, uh, what's his name? The Rock? Ray Lewis, Warren Sapp. Ray was on, Ray, yeah. that's right. Ray yeah. Lewis, right? The, those guys yeah. are Hall yeah. of Famers, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were like, like guys of like Michael Barrow. Yeah. Jesse wow. Armstead, Heisman Trophy winner, Gene Toretta. Wow. I played with a lot of guys, a lot of good guys. It's okay. That's you amazing. went on to do different uh, different things. Yeah, I played against Doug Flutie in the CFL also. That was fun. Well, that's right, because Flutie would have been at the same time. That's right. Yeah, you played for Calgary. So what, what years did you play up here? You played the one or two 95. seasons? Just 95. Just 95. Okay. That's one season there. Yeah. Just the one. But yeah. So you you got pretty much the best of the cold weather. Like you, I, you played I through left, Ottawa just, weather? No, then... I left like I, I kind of had a little injury. Okay. And then, you know, I had a little, when I didn't want to really play. Yeah. Any more of the season, the, the yeah. coach told me, you know, if I don't play this year, whatever. So I kind of retired early. Yeah. I didn't want gotcha. to train anymore, so I left. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then you went on to do bigger a and better. I went on to start start like I was searching for a football career, and then from that, I, you know, soccer career. I went to Jamaica to learn how to play. Um, play with the Jamaican national team. That was my goal. Started a coffee company down there, bought a farm. Yeah. I had more children. I just started a different type of life because, you know, I had to get football out of my system. Mm -hmm. took, it was a little difficult for me because, um, you know, watching the games and watching guys play that I'm, I know I can outplay them was just hard for me, you know, for five years. It was just really hard. That's tough. Yeah. To watch football. It was unfinished, no? Yeah, it did. It yeah. did actually. It yeah. did because I knew I should have like uh, had an ego issue at the time, but also they weren't. They the the, the situation in Ottawa wasn't right. I mean, no facilities were horrible. It just wasn't professional enough for my what I was thinking about professionalism. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. You know, what I mean, I didn't like the the way the players. You know, they didn't take it as serious as I took the game. You know, what I mean, I had a lot of. I didn't have a lot of good good relationships there. Because the guys they didn't like the way I played the game. I played full speed, and they, you know, they like to take plays off. I right. was into that stuff, so I was like, I wasn't accustomed to like mediocrity. And some of those guys, yeah. you know, because I'm a, I'm a foreigner, so my job was on the line more on the line than the guy from Canada. So yeah, 
some of them guys they didn't really take it serious because you know they wanted the girls and but I'm playing to play, I'm playing to win. We were like two and nine and my, like what the fuck? I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, what so bother? Play. Like I'm, yeah. I'm playing to win. These guys are playing like just to go out at night. I'm like, no, I need to win. So I told them guys I, I wasn't used to that stuff. I, I wasn't used to that lack of days of effort from some of those guys. And some of the guys really wanted to win also, but you know, I'm looking at the guys 17 years and and also playing the CFL, the pay is not that good. And yeah. this guy have a family. What's well, a whole nice different gig, buddy? They, they're carpenters and, and plumbers and I stuff on the office. Now it's good. Yeah. Now, yeah. It's, good. now yeah. it's good. Now it's yeah. better because now you're like a, a farm league for the NFL. Yeah. The CFL. When I played, it was not that good. No, it was no. Like, especially you, my team. And you were, you were between Italian. years, right? Like, because in 95, it was before... Like even the John Candy, like John Candy bought the, and, and those guys bought the Argonauts a little bit later, no, you know trying to inject some cash no, but, into the, the league right. and stuff, but right? But the good but, thing was Ottawa was not good, but like Argonauts was good, Calgary yeah. was good, yeah. yeah. Teams, even Edmonton, yeah. Es- Eskimos <laughs> yes, had a good, you know, yeah. they were they were nice, but Ottawa, we just didn't have it together at the time. I just I just can't stand losing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. lost a lot. I hated it. I, I, I was really bad for me. I mean, the lo- the losing side, you know. Yeah. And I was, I'm come from, I'm come, I come, I was coming from a winning, winning environment, so it was hard. A whole different but... world, though, too, right? University football in the states is, is is actually more religion sometimes than the NFL. You played a whole different league. No, facts, and, facts, you know, facts. Because stadiums are bigger. Like you can't in, even compare it. In Miami, right? It's like when I where I played a game. If you lose one game, we consider that like a, 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 a unsuccessful season. As opposed to the NFL, you can win a championship if you win like nine out of nine games. I've Absolutely. Six mm-hmm. But in the in college, it's like, so I came from that like rigorous. Yeah, for sure. I came yeah. from the rigorous like style of playing. So you, you got to understand my mentality. And I was like, I was already a little bit crazy because I just started growing my locks and I'm dealing with Rastafari. Yeah. I don't eat certain things. I don't talk a certain way. I do a lot of meditation and a lot of praying. So I wasn't really a You're little bit different. But, but, but I still love the game. Mm-hmm. But, I, but I realized that after a while, I was starting to get drawn away from the game because I started to not like the contact anymore because I used to have to get so angry. Yeah. And like I wanted, I play the game to like break your face. I want to I mm-hmm. hurt you when I play. Mm-hmm. I want to knock you out the game. I played the game to really knock you right, out the game. in right. your face. I want to hit you in your face. Right. So after reading, the, I was reading the Bible a lot and my energy was, you know, and then in Ottawa, I was hanging out with my Jamaican friends after practice, playing on a Jamaican soccer team. So mm-hmm. I practice in the morning with the guys and do the meetings. In the evenings, I go with my Jamaican friends and play on a soccer team. So I was doing both. You know, I played soccer and football. Mm-hmm. So my love for, for soccer was just becoming more greater because as I remember I, this is the dread from, from around the way in Ottawa, they still live there right now. The dread and the, the bridge and they had a shop. It was so crazy. The Jamaicans, they had a, sh- a barber shop. My bridge and um, I can't remember his name. But he's like a good friend of mine. In fact, I can't remember his name. But they had a barber shop across from the stadium. Yeah. A Jamaican shop across from where my stadium was in Ottawa. In Ottawa. I I, it was the craziest thing I ever seen. The, Jam- the Jamaican community was right there. So when I was, went to Ottawa, I was immediately in the Jamaican community. Right, you know? right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I ended up playing a lot of checkers at night with them and a lot of football. <laughs> I remember one. That's, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. One of the dreads up there he used to build boats. Like, but really? I'm like, yeah, but I never understood where he's putting the boat because I'm like, it's so cold in Canada. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you're a beauty. You're a beauty. You're a beauty. <laughs> like, who the fuck is- <laughs> so we're going to chalk up the Ottawa experience. It's not the greatest experience in Rohan Marley's life. No, I love it. No, honestly, I love uh, it. You know what? It's an experience. They're all, all right, good, man. Yeah. Anything you learn, you I, take away I, shit. It's I, all I, good. I, but let me tell you about That's awesome. I didn't even know how to cook. I was like, <laughs> well, if you ended up back in the Jamaican community, why do you got to cook? There's so many yeah. people who help take care of you. Yeah. That's, that's what family's about. Because, no, these guys have their own home that they cook at. 
awesome. <laughs> you awesome. can't just hang out at people's houses, you know? Uh, well, you can't hang out outside. It's too bloody cold. No, but I would, I would go there, all, like, because I used to love, like, I love this guy. And I, I, I love him so much because he built the boats, but he was also, like, <laughs> a full soccer player, you know? Oh, awesome. He used, he used to teach me, like, these techniques, like, like a technique and how to kick the ball. He taught me, he taught me some of the greatest things. Like this guy here, man, I want to see him. I want to come to Ottawa and visit him and I visit this man. He's one of the greatest human beings I know. He taught me so much about soccer, just like a little fundamentals, right? Right. Yeah. Man, I can't think Lloyd or Floyd or something. But if I go there, you, you, I'll find him. The window's it's closed, though. It's like, it's zero here. So that's like, oh, I'm not going. Yeah, you're going to spring, it's man. Like it's 30 it's degrees for, for you. Now. Coming no, not, so not, you you got to wait till I won't, I won't June, be seeing him. I maybe June seeing him. of next year. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> come back maybe in June will, of next year. Maybe. I will not be seeing Brother Floyd. <laughs> yeah, Brother Floyd, you're on your own, man. Get that boat on the water and sail down to Miami and rolls all over it. Otherwise, you're on your own, baby. So I'm not, I'm not. It's impossible. That's it's awesome. Too cold. I'm in New York right now, and I can't handle this shit. It's not for me. I, I lived there too long, and I, I need. I had to go home because in Miami, I live near the ocean. I get up in the morning. There's sunshine. I go and run on the beach. I play soccer Miami's all the time. Fantastic. I still play soccer, so it's like I'm living yeah. my life like health wise, and then I get a chance to start businesses and all these different things you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. beautiful so one more thing on sports just while we're, yeah. and then we'll go into business yeah i do because yeah. i'll tell you why we uh, wanted you on mostly because you know i like you i mean i got to know you a little bit because of the coffee company and i want it i want you to talk a little bit about yeah. that because i think what's interesting for a lot of people to understand is that it doesn't matter where you come from the background whatever your 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 lineage is your family it's still a grind Nothing's easy, right? You got to work like a dog. It takes a lot of work to get shit going. And you've had some successes with some of them, some failures with the others. So I wanted you to maybe just go through a bit of the, like on that. But one more thing on the, on the on the football, European football, soccer. Did you get to play with on the on the Jamaican team, or did you get any high level play, or was it just? Yeah, I, played, uh, I played for. Um, I actually made the national one of the the, the Premier League side. Awesome. So Harbor View, wow. you know, the Harbor View football side. Yeah. But then I tore my hamstring, like when I made the team. Ah, shit. Oh, okay. I tore my hamstring. So that's how I ended up in Los Angeles and started coughing because when I tore my hamstring, I moved back to Los Angeles, to Miami to get my ability, rehabilitation. Right. And while I'm there, there was an opportunity to go to LA with my sister for some clothing business. Right. Mm -hmm. And what my idea was, I was going to go to L.A. and try for the L.A. Galaxy, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> so my brother was like, yo, all right. I was like, <laughs> I want to do the clothing brand, the Tough Gun Clothing. I had no money at the time, but I wanted to play soccer, you know? So he's like, all right, I got $9,000. And my seamstress can help you to put together a lookbook and, you know, do what you want to do. Really help you get to your level where you can start to build your samples. But right. You have to make a choice, football or business. I'm like, what are you asking me? Oh man! <laughs> so which brother's that? Which one? Which one's putting the pressure on you? Ziggy. Ziggy, because Sadella, it's, it's also like pressure. for the most part, oh, she's pressure. she's good, right? Pressure. She's a she's the pressure. She's the she's the businesswoman in in the pressure though. That's yeah. like my, my well, that's good. They, they, you're you know what? You're the baby of the family, my friend. Tough beans. Suck like, it up. <laughs> but uh, who gives a shit? Older siblings rule the house. Follow yeah, the lead. They put that pressure on your ass. Yeah, that's good yeah. for you. Makes you grow up faster. No fucking, there's no bullshit. <laughs> no, really, seriously, it's fucking crazy. So, so when they so put what did the you pressure, do? What did you choose? You did. You obviously did the, the top thing I choose. I had to say, all right, business. I what are you gonna do? You can't choose so soccer after they beat the hell out of you. I was thirty-two years old. I'm like, wait a minute. If I pick soccer, I'm gonna go to this team, and they're gonna bench me because I'm too old. <laughs> and then your and then your your siblings are gonna give you the gears to the day you die. Yeah, because I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna be so frustrated. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I chose, you have no choice. Um, I chose um, um, to go into business. And then from that, in, before that, I had the coffee farm in Jamaica that I bought in 1999. So this time was 2004. 
because after you know not being able not being successful with developing a brand out of Jamaica because I couldn't promote I couldn't uh, develop a, enough like my farm is 52 acres and you need like 6,000 bucks of coffee cherries for them to give you a license and I'm producing like 150 and it's going to take me another eight years for the farm. I'm like, I can't do this shit. This is not, this is impossible. It's not going to work. It's, it's nice. That it's, it's not, a nice hobby, but it ain't going to make a business out of it. It's bullshit. Right? Well, yeah. I say it's bullshit. But, and these people, even though I'm producing like a, a, a one, 1,000 kilos of coffee, it was still wasn't enough. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sell this at my dad's museum. And when I tried that, I found some guy that helped me out. The guy that I found, he stole all my cherries and told me that, my coffee what? was no good because because they don't do the organic stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Man? Are you kidding me? So I asked the guy, you know, can I have my coffee back since it's no good? He says, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mari, we throw your coffee away. I'm like, all right, oh, you know bullshit. what? I'm out. Yeah. So then I went to Los Angeles, and that's when my sister, my brother gave me the ultimatum. I started tough concluding while I'm doing that. I met a good friend called Shane Whittle. A good friend of mine, you know, we went through some hardship, but he's still a great friend. I, 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 I keep up with him on LinkedIn still too, eh? Yeah, he's a good friend. He yeah. helped me to to launch. I mean, he helped me create Molly Coffee. We right. did it together. He was like my, he, was, he and I started that company together. All I did was like I had the farm and I wanted to start a company, but he helped me to formulate the business and he, he was very instrumental in, in that side of things, you know? And I remember the day when, you know, after he realized that we couldn't do a Jamaican business, <laughs> he gave up on me a little bit. But I was like, dude, just hold on a second. You know, I promised him I'll do it with him. He said, I said, hold on a second. But I moved to Ethiopia because I also wanted to fix my own life. When I was in Ethiopia, I discovered that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. And I'm like, well, if Starbucks is sourcing coffee out of Ethiopia and they don't own a coffee farm, I own a coffee farm. So I say, well, I'm gonna let my, co instead of me trying to fight the Jamaican government to give me the coffee industry board, to give me a coffee license and I'm not producing enough, I don't have the proper facilities. I say, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna build a coffee company and I'm gonna take the Starbucks model where they become, they're just coffee, they source coffee from all over. Right. With all of their yeah. ethics, ethic code. And I, I realized that while they were in Ethiopia, they, they weren't able to, to coin Yuga Chafe and Ethiopia government banned them. So I heard on the radio, I said, oh, wait a minute, Starbucks can source coffee. I can source coffee. Mm -hmm. So I called my buddy Shane. I'm like, yo, dude. I said, you know who my father is? He says, yes, Bob Marley. I said, well, you know, my father, he's a universal man. And I said, do you know that I'm also universal? <laughs> He's like, oh, no. He's like, oh, what the fuck are you trying to say? I said, well, coffee is universal. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a coffee company out of Ethiopia, the birthplace of Rastafari, the birthplace of civilization, the birthplace of coffee, and also the birthplace of Haile Selassie the first. So that was a great story for me as a Rasta man and how much I'm embedded to Ethiopia and how much we love Ethiopia. So and I wanted to be the guy to tell the world that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee because when the Yemenites would go into Ethiopia and take the coffee back to Yemen, they would say oh, the Europeans buy the coffee from the Yemenites and say, oh, we have the coffee from the Arabs. So we have the Arabica beans. Right. Well, the truthful name is Ethiopica. So that was, my goal was to tell the world that Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee. So we did that. And then being that Shane was from, is, is not was, he's from Vancouver. Um, we found a way to link up with London Drugs. <laughs> and then we ran into Kenny. <laughs> and Ken, Ken, like, you know what, dude? We met him at a trade show or something. He's like, this is interesting. Yeah, Kenny loves shirt. at trade shows. I love trade shows. Shirt. Yeah. He had a white shirt with a, a bag over his shoulder, and he's standing there with his glasses on. <laughs> are you guys? Are you? Are you really? Are you related to the Marlins? I said, yeah, my name is Rohan Marley. How are you? What, what, what? Oh, you're from London Drugs. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I didn't yeah. know what the hell London Drugs was. London Drugs. <laughs> like, what the fuck is a London Drugs? Exactly. What's a London Drugs? <laughs> what the fuck is London Drugs? It's just like that. 
I'm thinking London drugs, like a, a pharmacy, you know, like a drug store. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. But I got to tell you, I like, I got to tell you a funny story. I'm going to finish my Kenny story, but I got to tell you why the names fucked me up. So I'm in Canada and I'm playing for Ottawa Rough Riders. So everywhere I go, I see Canada Tire. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Why does a tire shop need fucking five stories? <laughs> so I have... <laughs> How many tires can these people buy? <laughs> these Canadians, like, they got nothing. They got, like, they got some sort of football and they got tires. Fucking tires. That's all they do. Of... <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is a Canadian tire shop? What the, what the fuck is this? I'm like... So I move into my apartment, right? <laughs> and I need items like mops and shit, like <laughs> all this shit, like all this shit you need. Oh my god! Like toothpaste and fucking. Nobody understands Canadian Tire unless you come like up here and see Canadian Tire. Yeah, yeah. They're like, I'm, they're like, uh, um, go to the store across the street from me, Canadian Tire. I'm like, what? I don't need tires. Yeah. Like no, 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 no. Trust me, just go over there. Yeah. Like Canadian Tire. <laughs> Everything under the kitchen sink. I walked into that fucking place. That shows five stories of nothing but other shit than tires. <laughs> it's actually, not that many tires. Actually, just less and less about tires and more and more about everything else. That's <laughs> true. Oh my god, it was the funniest thing. Isn't it crazy? Uh, it's so, so funny. It was like my, you know, in regards to like what Canada was for me, new. Everything was new, but I loved it. I met a lot of people, so. I met Kenny now, and Kenny at the trade show is like, yeah, all right. You know what, guys? Um, give me give me a card. Give me a card. I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch. You know, and my guy, my my bro Shane, he's from, he's from Vancouver. He took me to Whistler. He took me to Kelowna. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Can't get there now anyway. There's no roads, so don't worry about it. My Nathan's brother will have my head, probably. <laughs> uh, Kelowna. See? Kelowna. Kelowna. See, yeah. that's it. And I went to Whistler as well. So I, I ended up like becoming very close to Shane's family, his mother, his sister, his father, yeah. his sister's husband, you know? So being like that, Shane's like a real hustler. Shane like kept bothering Kenny. Hey, we want to give you a sample. And I okay, come on, come up here and take a meeting. I remember going to this office <laughs> and I had to pitch Kenny this shit. Like, Kenny, this is the story I told you. I'm like, Kenny, this is my shit. This is like, you know what, Rohan? I like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. You know that, eh? I think you know you're pretty good that shit. Sounds like, like Kenny. Yeah. That's like, exactly you know, like Kenny. I like you. And let me tell you, you know, I don't give a shit about nothing but i don't care but i'm gonna give you a try i'm gonna give you a shot you know i love your story and and, and first and foremost i love your father yeah so i did say i'm gonna too. give you a try yeah so you guys can deliver i keep it around so i think we did like how many years with you kenny as long as i stayed in the category so i think he, oh god bro i left and the category did you have we had we were you were in all stores 78 of them you were my first my first blog post that I ever wrote was on your coffee. Yeah. And the listing of it and how we met. But we I must have been at least uh what year did you launch? 2011? Two, two, yeah, 2010, 11, yeah. 2010, 11. So until I left the category in 2013, 2014. Right. Well, 2003 you left in 2014. Yeah. Our well, at the time I was there, you were it. Because I did, yeah. I understood because I did and, like you. And, and we went up there, we did cuppings, we did... Yeah, we had some fun with it. We did some stuff yeah, in the stores. We were, yeah, and we were in 72 stores, and that was that was like my... I think we were one of the first listings you had in a, anything of uh, size, yeah, my, right? Yeah, my... my um, that was like my... My... Uh, what do you call it? My uh, ring or... What do you call that thing when you have like a... I don't know what they call this shit. I'm not Jamaican. I can't remember some of this fucking... Okay, I'm Canadian. What the hell are you talking about? And it was like the shit that you say, like, I don't know, like my notch on my belt or something. Yeah, it was shit. like the free, oh, yeah, okay. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, no, we... I was like, I was in Dina Luca 
and London jobs. That's yeah. like business. <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't be more two two more extremes, right? Dina DeLuca, like fancy schmancy, yeah. Yeah. you and know, London Manhattan, drugs. and then London drugs. Yeah. And, uh, and and two Whole Food, five actually. That's right. So yeah, you know, and so I'm thankful for that because you know I end up over the years build a good friendship with Kenny. We we often talk about doing other things together, you know, yeah. and then and then since like now, since Kenny left the category and started his own situation, we we lost touch for a little while because you know I'm moving around a little bit. It was nice that you hit me up on. We we, we always. I always see Kenny around, you know. I, just I watch your bother. post too. I always keep thinking. I just like to keep tabs yeah. on you. Know, yeah, the kids see. are doing stuff. You got one in football, and yeah, others we, here, and they're growing up. And yeah, shit. It's, it's nice because you know me from when they were babies. So it's nice now. It's yeah, like all cool, we're, we're like what? How many years ago was this? Well, it's ten years, eleven years now, yeah, right? Yeah, eleven years ago. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. A lot. that's crazy, right? That's amazing. No, when I told Phil, I said, I said, I said, he's got a cool story, Phil, because. It's not that everything, you know, it's, you know, it's great. He had a great last name and, you know, and his dad was his dad, but you know what it's like in anything in life that might get a door open or get someone That's to listen it. to you, but who gives a That's shit it. after that? That's I don't care true. who you are. If your oh, product's you're not good, money. it's not going to sell. Oh, I am Rohan Marley. Congratulations. Oh, oh you. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh man, we love your dad so much. Oh, your dad has done so much for us. You know what? We owe you a conversation. <laughs> now, you, yeah, we owe you. We owe you a conversation. Owe you a conversation. We owe you a fucking conversation. So come on in, have a yeah. seat. Now, what do you have? <laughs> yeah, but, and you know, can you ship it? But you still got to answer the, all the questions, right? Can you ship it? Is it? What, yeah, you know, because yeah, my guy Shane was so advanced in that fucking business world. He like he was so ready for that shit, and we hired a lot of friends. But Shane, I gotta tell you, that guy knew how to do fucking business. Like he knew, he he taught me a lot in regards to like, I mean, I mean, I learned just some things, you know. But it was the most important things I learned because he put it together. He was the one. He checked with me, of, of course, but. He was the one stick handling the trade show. The, list, the listings and the cut became from Shane because Shane knew all that business, shit, right? And okay. I'm doing the packaging and the the, yeah. the story and the bag, all the artwork or the creativity, but the story. But Shane knew how to to orchestrate a business, like yeah, yeah. With, and and then knew, but not just Shane. We hired some people, but yeah, you had some was, good people. Shane was very instrumental in that, and yeah. it was really fantastic. And it was great. We had a great run. And, you know, we had some ups and downs, of course, in business. You know, there's hustlers and there's so-and-so. And people do it all the time. So I don't That's give a all shit good in the head. what people say about anybody. It's over now. And yep. we, all are, we, are, we all went through it. Like, some did things that people didn't agree with. Some people did things that people agreed with. And that's just the way it is. Yeah. But you know what? It was never anything bad that anyone did to hurt anyone. It's just a business, you know? Yeah. So I love Shane and he's my brother. And we we finally like we really start just recently we I I, we, I caught up with him because he's been so busy. I haven't spoken to him in like five years. Mm. And just recently I, I, I followed like a I found a friend that he introduced me to, right? Right. And I saw that he liked one of my pictures on Instagram. So I just followed him and I, and I start looking at his stories. I saw Shane and I followed Shane. This was like two months ago. That's awesome, man. And I was like, yo, my man, where are you, man? Like, it's what it takes, what's though, right? That's huh? what it takes. That's what it takes. You got to get, you know, it's all yeah. part of it. But yeah, just so I you're very it. clear, I liked you. It was the coffee. It wasn't because of the old man. I mean, the Marley thing was pretty I mean, no, cool. No, no, I'll no, give you that. No, but I liked you. No, and the coffee was cool. No, but my dad allowed me to have a conversation Mm -hmm. because the product was called is called marley coffee for sure but you mm -hmm. earned you had to earn the listing your dad's not no, around it's my, to get story. You the listing. It's my so, story absolutely it's my and that's story. what i like yeah, about yeah. It. No matter that's amazing. What, it's my story yeah. and yes my father is a beautiful human being but coffee is mine that's Damn right that's, that's my story that's what that's i amazing. did what i built i built that myself but today you know the one main thing i did do was like my family i told them like you know i'm gonna start marley coffee it's going to be my face and signature on the bag. 
but if it fails, you can blame me. But if it works, it's a family business. So it failed, but then it worked like anything else. So now it's a family business. And my sister, Sadella, she's in charge of the, the, the decision making. And, you know, it's just that. And I'm just still, and now I'm, fam, I'm just a family ambassador for all the brands, you know, which is great. So is the coffee company still running, Mark? A row? Is it still going or, or is it on a park? It's still going. We're, we're still at Mother Parker in Canada there. Yeah. We're like the, the number one coffee in Chile. That's cool. Um, so yeah. you're still you're still doing business. It's not as prominent. This yeah. is a tough country and we got so much bloody coffee, it makes it hard to do anything, but you're no, still but we're, you're still we're doing still, still That's doing awesome. coffee at Mother Parker. That's awesome. And we sell here on Amazon. We haven't really relaunched in like the the um the retail side of things yet. Okay. We just now opened up seven coffee shops out of South America with the guys from Chile. Awesome. And we have coffee shops in uh, Mexico, in Florida, Carmel with a fire group. So it's it's really beautiful. That's good, so you're yeah. still you're still in, and, and now you, and the farm is still owned. The farm is still there. And now, aren't you doing the, uh, the, the Jamaican coffee, the, the blue, blue mountain coffee? Blue mountain, I couldn't think of blue it. Mountain. Yeah, it's not as active as it was since the COVID because of shipping and right. things. So the blue mountain coffee, but we're still doing everything. As That's awesome. We still have our blue, we still have our Molly Coffee Jamaica with guys that we're selling the air. We're still, do, we're still doing it. We're just That's good, buddy. In America. If, you, uh, if you come up here and hang out with the Mother Parker guys, you should call me. I'm literally 10 minutes from there. Well, so you when know, they so roast coffee, I can smell it at my house. I haven't, I haven't smoked them in a long time because of this yeah. relationship. My family is in charge now. So okay. My, if my family gives me the okay because everybody's afraid of me a little because I'm a little <laughs> too old. I'll go there and start a whole other business. <laughs> <laughs> I have ski good. going and all kind of shit. You know? uh, that's, <laughs> that's why. That's why. See, that's why the older the older siblings have to take care of the younger ones because the younger ones just get a little too rambunctious, right? I'm wild. I'm wild. I'm that's why the older son. ones are there. The youngest yeah, ones, what? the youngest oh, ones are the smartest. So I'm a middle kid, so that I don't count, right? I'm, but I'm, but the youngest ones are the smartest, and the I'm youngest middle, ones have I'm no rules. Too. I'm fucking in the middle. That's why yeah, I don't. But, count but they have either. no rules, right? Like the youngest ones, they literally just do whatever they want. Like the rules don't apply to them. Nothing. Like I'm there's the middle, always you know, someone there to catch them, right? So. Well, what number are you in the family, though? You're not in the middle. I thought you were. Yeah, you're not in the middle. I thought you're eight I'm or nine middle. or ten or something. There's five on each side of me. I'm oh, in the middle. Really? Oh, you're smack dab in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's so your problem. In the middle. That's why. That's many. why you're a problem child. Your sister and younger sister. Family that's think all I'm a joker. <laughs> oh Jesus! They don't that's think awesome. I do anything. They think yeah, I'm a yeah. joker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they think uh, all I do is laugh all day. Yeah. God bless them. That is true. But but. Hey, but are you still doing the? Are you still like the headphones? These are yours, right? Are you still doing the headphones and the and the? But I'm, I just now started back with a family business, so I'm not up to speed on everything with the headphones. So I just now became ambassador again because I was busy launching like the Romali Beach House. I have mine here too. Yeah, I have mine oh, here too. I love them. Got our Marley's on, man. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, I love them. And then I'm doing the um the Romali Beach House, which is a hotel out of uh Playa del Carmen. Oh, sorry, Puerto Morelos, as well as I'm oh, launching wow. my cannabis brand, which is called Lion Order. I'm launching that February 4th, which is like my story, my vibe, you know, separately than my family business, which is Molly Natural. This is the, in, in no in no competition, just different type, different idea, mm -hmm. but it's in a cannabis space. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Wow. Look at you, man. Look at you just a going you concern, go. eh? Yeah, it does except, try, you're, you know? except you're stuck in New York in the cold. Outside of that, you're no, not really, concerned. I, I, I will fly Tomorrow out of he leaves. Yeah. Tomorrow uh -huh. he leaves, he said. Yeah. Huh? Almost Are you going done. home tomorrow? Saturday. I, I, this Saturday. is enough. Yeah. I've had enough of New York. I can't. <laughs> I, I, don't get, I don't get to see as much as I was like because it's too fucking. It's too cold. Outside, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, so I had to get my children to come down to me in uh, Miami. So I can do see I, do any of the kids uh, live close? Yeah, a couple of my children live close. Like uh, one, two. I have 11 right now, so. Mm -hmm. Feeling as close to me. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Hey, yeah. thanks for coming on. This, this buddy, I really amazing. appreciate yeah, it. Thank, thank you, you, man. Thank you. So I'm glad. Anytime, man. Just no, I, shout, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Shout me out anytime. Yeah.
Yeah, well, well, we may bug you in the new year when the new stuff when the new company gets up and running. We may bug yeah, you in yeah, six yeah. eight months. Yeah, we do a line order. We do a line order one. You know. Yeah, if it's up to you, if you don't mind, if you don't mind Listen, coming back on, mind, you, you seem to be starting new businesses every week. So if you want to come back every week and just kind of tell us what you're starting new, <laughs> we'll just shoot the shit with you anyway. We're I don't good. care. I like We're talking. To you, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Done deal. It's on. I do awesome. Have you. Got it, man. All awesome. right, brother. Respect. Right. Take care, my friend. Have a Thank good you. flight home. Safe travels. Thank, Thank you, Bill. All right. Love you, you buddy. Take Thank care. You. Right. Take care. Bless you. Yeah, man. Bless your heart, man. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mr. Chang. Mm. He's funny. He's hilarious. I love him. Oh, he's funny. He's a good shit, right? Yeah. He really is. He's a, he's, a, he's just a, I don't know. There's, there's something about him. He's just a nice guy. Yeah. Like he really he's, is. He's pretty cool. But it shows. I mean, it's just... You know, funny, eh? like, so you come from a family that size and you still get bossed around. Um, things don't just work just because you got, you know, a cool last name. And I remember when I met him the first time, yeah, because he sort of went down that path, you know, and I said, yeah, but buddy, you're not your dad, right? And I know yeah. you're Marley, but like, really, yeah. who cares? Yeah. Right. I mean, there's a, there's a whole ton of you Marley's, right? Yeah. Like I said, but I said, you know, I, honestly, because I loved, I loved his father's music. I mean, obviously, and I, but I did like him something about him. Like, yeah, like he's just, when you, if you meet him, He's kind of got that twinkle in his eye and he's got these kind of that guy and you're thinking, ah, oh, he's a good, he's a pretty good shit. Right. And Shane and, was and good. Like Shane, knew he's business, so. itchy, right? Like he, you can tell, like he, he just, he's got a lot of ideas. He's trying to figure out how to like, you know, but that's why it's best not to be massively involved at all levels. That's why you need like his sister, the, the eldest one and Ziggy are the ones that, because they're the eldest two, I'm assuming the eldest boy and girl, it's different. Right. And they come from a, a, a different time and they're a little bit older. So yeah. they run more shit. And I think it's yeah. like anything, you know, yeah. like you said, the, the farther down the pack you go, yeah. the more functions you get. And most of them ended up in music. I mean, you know, a bunch yeah. of the brothers obviously yeah. sing. Yeah. So, I mean, they've all done their, their yeah. I mean, it's a successful family. Then they've, yeah. it's and they've gotten smart over the years and protected the family name. And I think are bringing all the franchises and licenses all in, in house, which is smart. Right. Yeah. It's a good brand the marty brand ain't a bad it's, brand look it's it's great and then the the coffee is good like it none of it's crap either right like marley no. coffee is good no the coffee's good um, the headphones are great like i know, love the headphones too like, yeah 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 yeah. style's nice right yeah and he's yeah, got a good yeah. flair for it because a lot yeah. of the shit's his designs it's his yeah, thoughts yeah. yeah but it shows you like again if, if you're gonna do stuff it's important to have that's why when he talks about shane like shane knows his shit right he's a fucking yeah. hustler man if you meet this yeah. guy the guy's a hustler really right okay but you know what I mean? Like he's, he gets it. Like, and he yeah. just doesn't take, no, he's a different, it's more business with him. And bro was more about, you know, Rose Rose like, likes the story, likes the life. Yeah. All yeah. good on the hood. So it's amazing. anyway, I'm glad he came on. Yeah. Me too. Me right? too. It's kind of fun. Me so. too. That's pretty amazing. A little different. I haven't had, you know, I haven't had, to, had that conversation with anybody in a while. So it's kind of cool. No, that is cool. Okay. That was very cool. That was there worth the wait. Yeah. Awesome. So I'll let you figure out how to edit this one. Good yeah, luck. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's, it's fine. Yeah. 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 Okay, buddy. It's cool, 8, 15, 11, 15, your time. Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing else for you. You have fun at your show tomorrow. Thank you. I will. And, uh, I will. It'll be fun. I may talk to you on the weekend. If not, I'll talk to you Monday. For sure. Or I'll yeah. let you, I'll send you a text, let okay. you know how, uh, how uh, Sarah and I's project goes in the yeah, morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, okay, buddy. my friend. Okay. Chat soon. Have a great night. Ciao, man. Okay. Bye. Bye.